Hello, it's me, Tarzan Sniper, and welcome back. Uh, welcome to Destiny. Um, I used to have videos of Destiny on the channel, but I deleted all my old videos a long while ago. So yeah, yeah. Some of you may know that if you've actually, if anyone's actually watched back then, but others may not. So basically, this is my hunter, fully maxed Night Stalker and Blade Dancer, but not Gunslinger. Maida is my main weapon, just piece of theory, Void Edge, Dark Explorer, Blood Soaked, Book of Desolation, Desolate Legs, Desolate Vest, Sealed Home Cars, Grass, and Spray Grass, Spray Mask. 30, 30, Three thousand three or more, forty obviously, three fifteen light, and just a bunch of crap in here, a bunch of chromas. It's weird rune, the antiquated, reciprocal, armor parts, weapon parts, strange coins, a lot of relic iron, helium filaments. I'm a new monarchy. Even though I like Dead Orbit better, I have four three of coins I could use if I wanted to. And I have the ticket ship. The, uh, uh, I cannot think of the name of the ship right now. Um, God, what is the name of the ship? Morning Star. I also have the other Starling specific space save Mariner, the 80 proof reader, Rebellious, Defiant, Steel Atreus, TikTok Inquisitor, and Newsbreaker. They're all legendary except for the two Starling ones. And I have the uh, Aeon 3 Glow and the Volumbra. The horn you get off the default, a bunch of random things, emblems, my two new monarchy ones, my Horsers badge, Friends of the Elders 2, my On the Edge, Judgment's Right Hand, Sentinel's Crest, and Throne Decree, and oh, the Jade Rabbit insignia. I don't even have the Jade Rabbit, which kind of sucks, but it's. Nah, it's, it's whatever, I don't really care. Today, I guess I'm just gonna farm for some exotics with you. It will take me like two seconds to do it, but I can teach you how. If anyone wants to know. If anyone doesn't know. If anyone even plays D1 anymore. Everybody's moved on to D2 now for seconds out. But I still like D1 better. Especially because, well, Hunter trigger warning. I'm a Hunter too, so I understand. Cade's dead now, so. It's not Cade's dead. At least he's alive back here. Alrighty. So it does make me restart. Um, I'll show you guys how to farm for exotics, I guess. I won't be able to do it for very long, but I might get an exotic or two out of it. I doubt it, but I mean, if we do, oh, cool. If we don't, oh well. We're gonna go to the gate to the Black Garden. Shoot, wrong way. Gate to the Black Garden. Go to the gate to the Black Garden, and then we'll enter the Black Garden and do a bunch of other crap. It, it takes a little bit. This mission's kind of long. It's the last mission on the vanilla game before DLCs came out. It's the Black Garden mission where you defeat the where you beat the game before the DLCs. I'll hit this ramp right here. Woo! I like playing around with this uh, sparrow. It's so fun you can flip around and crap with this one. Um, we're coming up on the gate. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but I mean, I can't really make it go any faster. Oh my god, I thought I forgot about this part. Go through here. Go through down, and the gate area is right through here. They aren't gonna do good though, because I know what I'm doing. I need a decent hand cannon. I need the Ace of Spades, to be honest. So if I do get an exotic, we're hoping for the Ace of Spades, No Land Beyond, Jade Rabbit. God, I want the Jade Rabbit. I really want the Ace of Spades, though. It's like my main and No Land Beyond. Oh crap, for all of these guys. I got- this was my original- this is the original gun I wanted, and I ended up getting it. 
on, I have it on here and my Warlock. My level 40 Warlock also has the same gun. I love the Mita, but don't get me wrong, I freaking love the Mita. It's just not as good as the, some other guns, all Beasts, Spades, and the NL Beasts. No. I love how the ghost always resets his words. He's not like, yeah, 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 we've already been through this all. It's... It'll take me a while to get through this, but basically all you want to do is get through the basic crap of this mission up until the boss. Don't beat them yet. Like, like if you're doing this, you can always just pause the video, fast forward it to the part where I get to the boss, and then just get there yourself and then just unpause it. Because that's whenever everything really starts the tutorial. This crap's just me trying to get to there. Basically, you just beat the mission normally. Oh my god, hello. Combo combo. So we just want to take advantage of the situation and see if there is any. I tried to one hit kill him. Oh, I missed. Hey, buddy. Boom. Oh, hello. I know you don't really have to kill all these guys, you could just run forward, but I like killing them because. I don't know. I don't want the video to be too short. I don't want it to be like freaking 80 freaking minutes long, but if it is, I mean, like I said, fast forward if you have to. I'm already to the respawning restricted part, though, so. God, I can't freaking summon my sparrow here. I need it. Run! What the heck? Best thing about the Myla is the fact that the radar stays up, kind of like the knucklehead radar, which is an exotic helmet if you don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, the black heart, the thing that we came to stop, you know? You know that thing? Yeah. Um. Good night, my dude. Um. Green goblins. God, I love the Vex. The Vex are my favorite because they're so easy to kill. They always have such an obvious precision spot. The harpies have that middle part. These guys have, well, that. The mentors just have their faces. Everything else pretty much has the uh, white part in their stomach. You know? That part. Like, that part that makes them explode with one shot. God, run, 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 run. Got a freaking rare ingram. I don't need that, but. Are that yeah, whatever, the this device of mine isn't even that hard to kill. If I think about back before I had the DLCs and all, and before they came out and everything, like when I played back, you know, in the vanilla days, whenever this was the last mission, I was already level 34 by the time you beat this mission, because of Crucible. Because you know, you're supposed to be level 18 when you beat this mission. Like, literally, I was level 34 by the time I did it, and I was like, destroyed this mission first try. Same with Oryx, I was already level 40 by the time I challenged him. Wait, no, I wasn't. I was level 38 when I challenged Oryx. I wasn't quite 40. And I got 40 after after I beat him, I was at 39. And I just went into Crucible and farmed the crap out of kills. Kill, I farmed bounties. I farmed a bunch of bounties and everything. I don't know why I'm talking about all this. It's just interesting. Screw off. Oh, Jesus. Catch that grenade. God, I love Night Stalker, dude. That's why Night, Night Stalker is one of the best. You can do double grenades. And just the power of the void is the best. Screw Arc and Sol Solar. Oh, wow, that doesn't sound fun. I'm not even to the part where you take down the two. Oh, here it is. Wait, never mind. Yeah, this is the part. 
Yeah, I know. Vex clusters. Yes, two. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to throw the grenades. Man, that's a waste of my Night Stalker. Dude, these enemies are too easy to waste now. Boy, 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 boy. Go, 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 go. No, oh, screw it. Alright, sit down. Alright. I got these freaking dudes. I got these dudes, I got these dudes. Alright. Alright, wait, is there someone behind me? Yep, there's like two harpies. I like how the Nivex are all named after like mythic creatures like goblins, hobgoblins, harpies, mentors, uh, cyclops, the decisive minds and all that don't really, but they're majors and ultras so they don't count. I think there's one more that I'm missing but I can't think of it right now so I'll have to think of it whenever I see it. God, hob God. Goblin, hobgoblin, mentor, cyclops. And I think that's actually yeah. I keep wanting to say um ser servitors, but servitors are um fallen. Even though they are big robots, basically like glorified eyeballs. Oh god, god, stop, 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 stop. Hydra, yeah. I feel like there's someone else forget oh my god, dude. Just calm down, chill. Chill out, we can talk, we cannot talk about this actually, you're going down, bro. Go sleep. Open up. Doop, doop. Oh yeah, I actually know how to get quadruple jump. In this game, all you need is triple jump on Night Stalker and Bones of AO exotic boots. Which I have, but they're not on me right now. They're in my vault in the tower. But you, it gives you, it grants you another jump. So if you have triple jump, you get that extra jump. You got four, Jesus, four jumps. Um, are you gonna? I scanned already. What the heck? Deploy a freaking. Did it just undeploy again? Okay, I was about to say you freaking already did that to me once. Kill the gate, Lord. Uh, um, hello. Stop taking so long. Oh, Jesus, I'm about to fall over. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all that. Hits that, reflects off all the glass, and hits the middle of the thing, and it looks like something out of Shadow of the Colossus. Well, there was nothing. See, it didn't take me that long, only like 13 minutes, and a stupid cutscene that I've seen 15 times. Well, more like 15,000, considering I beat this mission like, you don't know how. I farm for, every weekend almost, I farm for exotics. Alright, so here's the where the tutorial starts. Basically, you just carry on like you normally do, but before you kill the first one, pop a three of coins. Um, if you have, you have to have the three coins, by the way. Um, pop three coins. Oh god. Because basically, it increases your chance of getting an exotic next time you kill an ultra. These guys are obviously ultras. Um, here, I'm just trying to take out some of these guys first before I ever go down there. As long as you don't go down there, they won't spawn. I mean, they won't summon themselves. Or I'm going in. Okay, I need to stand up. Dude, this is- oh my god, I don't remember ever having this much difficulty killing them. Okay, he's still not spawning. Dude, oh my god, there's so many! <laughs> Spawn, spawn already, dude. Come to life. There, now. Come to life. Come on, shoot your crap at him and bring him to life. Yes. Oh my god, ten years later. 
Alright, so after you pop three coins, it will have an exotic thing called exotic particles. Read the effect if you want to. I'm not trying to read it when the self prize and he's trying to summon itself right now. So basically what you want to do is you want to kill the first one. We'll pop a three of coins. Pop oh god. English. Pop a three of coins. And then just kill him. If he, he may or may not drop an exotic, like, there's not a 100% chance, there's, like, not very much of a chance at all. But the three of coins increases that chance. I actually need hard light, that's one thing I've, I've never actually gotten hard light, even though it's so common. Oh my god, dude, I am dying right now. I, am st I do not need to die. Oh, by the way, if you die, your three of coins does continue on until you complete your principal match or kill an ultra. So I could leave this right now, after dying. I could die right now, leave, and co and not come back, go to a personal match, and it would still be active. And if I won the personal yeah. match, I, had, I still have a chance of getting an exotic from it. Alright, let's see, I think it dropped a legendary, not an exotic. Yeah, it dropped a legendary. Still pretty good. So after you kill that one, after you kill the first one, pop another three of coins, because that one will wear off now that you've killed an ultra. And if I pop the next one, you kill the next one. Just kill the next progeny. And, well, then I'll just tell you the next part after I get done with this guy. I could be using my shotgun, but I don't think that'd be very useful. I'm not going to end with my sword at all. Last time I tried that, I got demolished. You know what? Let's go shotgun. Let's go shotgun. Pow! Pow! Oh god, it's so useless. The shotgun's so bad. It's so good on Crucible, it's so bad on... Nope. I'll use my old strategy. Just hit that freaking white part, dodge, jump up. Now that he's confused, jump back up. Hit the shroom a few times. This was my old strategy. I'd just go up and down and he'd get confused. He'd be like, oh, he's down there now. And then he'd be like, oh, no, he's up there. Go to the side, he's like, oh, no, he's over there. Go up, pop. Go to the other side. Hide behind a thing. Cap him a couple times. Then he still thinks I'm up here. Oh my god, dude. Freaking hog dog in here. Line rifles. So I go down here. And he still thinks I'm over there. For a split second. Boom. I don't know how he knew that and shot me right there. I think he's catching on. Oh, he catch it. He ain't caught on yet. See? <laughs> He's such an idiot. Alright, let's see if he drops an exotic. Well, no, I didn't drop an exotic, but that's it. Alright, now, after you killed that one. Now, after you've killed that one, wait. If you got an exotic, oh, I mean, cool for you. After it pops up, kill the salt progeny again, kill yourself. In the game, not in real life. I don't promote suicide. But, um, just fall off the map. Or let him kill you, let him summon. I just find it quicker just to do that. And then go into orbit. Oh, don't worry, it will put you back at the very beginning of this boss battle, summoning all three of them back. And that's the point. You summon, if, if you get killed before that, like if you die before the, the third one, it will put you all the way back to the beginning. But if you are smart about it and you wait until the third one is spawned, when you die, it will not restart you. It, it, if you go to orbit, you go back at the beginning, it'll put you back to where the third one is spawning. But if you go back into orbit, it'll put you back to where the first one, before the first one spawned. So the smart thing is, is just to grind that out. Do it every time and use the three of coins before you kill each one. Until you get it, I mean, until you either run out of three of coins or get exotics enough to where you're like, okay, I quit. No, I'm still going to continue on with this video, see if I get an exotic. If I do, I don't think I will. I only have two left, because I didn't buy very many this week. I didn't have that many strange coins. I haven't played it in a while. But, if I do, I'll go ahead and open it for you on camera. And if I don't, I'll go ahead and pop that legendary one for you guys. But Alright, so before this, pop another three coins. Obviously. Got the wrong thing. Use another three coins. See, as you can see, all three are back. So the first one, pop three coins, like I said. Now wait for them to spawn. I always try to take them out. I always try to take self down about a quarter before he ever even really comes at me. 
play so aggressively. I shoot the freaking precision point. He staggers a little bit. He's trying so hard to keep up. I need a rocket launcher. That's what I need. Oh, dude, 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 oh, that, that was pretty cool, no scope, right, to the precision. Alright, we'll see, three, two, one, and exotic. No, yes, I did get one. Oh, it's gauntlets, dude, I have like 15 different pairs of gauntlets that are exotic. That, that upsets me. I want a weapon, I don't care if it's secondary, even if it's heavy. If it was heavy, I probably would have been a little bit angry anyway. Alright, pop the last one, if it's your last one. Kill the second one again. Repeat strat. I usually, I'm not going to kill the third one, because next week when I come back, if I come back, it'll still put me here, no matter how many days you wait. Well, I think if it goes over a month, it will restart it, but I mean, if you if you don't play for over a month, I mean, you might as well just restart it anyway. I mean, you will be a little rusty, you want to get back into the hang of aiming and everything, and jumping around and dodging shots and everything, you want to get back into the hang, because like, I, me of all people, I get really rusty after not playing this game for about a week. I get really freaking rusty, but yeah, basically, it'll it'll still put you back to where you were if you quit after dying and everything, if you go back into orbit. Dude, whoa, freaking line rifles, dude. Where even is the hog going? I don't see him. Wherever he is, he's freaking pissing me. He's freaking taking me off, dude. I freaking hate line rifles. Oh my god. Dude, Hobgoblin, where you at, bro? Alright, slide under. Alright, I, I hope I get next item, but I know I won't because I already just got one. Well, I got gauntlets. I'll probably get young on cards, find or sealed on card grasps. So, pop up, kill us all, Roger. Progeny, done, dead, respawning restricted, you can listen to my darkness, respawn, respawn, repeat, well, die, rinse, repeat, um, you don't have to, I can't because I, I'm out, I'll go ahead and pop this exotic for you guys though, I'll go back into orbit, go back to the tower, open up this exotic for you guys, see if I don't get sealed on cars grass, or on cars, oh the, whatever, you'd probably know I'm talking about. Something, I hope I don't get something I already have, basically. God, I hope it's something I don't already have. I don't think there's any gods I don't have, though, that are actually you know, for, for Hunter. I mean, I don't even care if it gives me something for Warlock. Or if it gives me something for Titan, I am going to be mad, though, because my Titan's level 3. Because I hate Titan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Titans just trash in D1. D2? Okay, Titans are decent in D2. Hunters are still best, but, I mean... Opinions are being stated in this video. Triggering probably opinions. Triggering or not? Opinions? They are. No, I'm not Yoda. I'm not talking like that. Jesus. I should have just do it, done the thumbnail like the case of the game, but I didn't. So that didn't focus. I know, but it's destiny case. If if I mean, like it's like they wanted the hunters to be the best class. They were the only. They were the main ones that they showed on the cover. All right, what do you have for me? Please be an exotic weapon. I swear to God, if it's something stupid like freaking rear in your muscle, I'm gonna put it through your face. Oh my God, I will kill you. Alright, let's get everything open. We got like four Ingrams to open. One legendary, one exotic, and like two rares. Oh, and some beads. Oh god, dude. Stupid cloak, stupid rocket launcher, aspirate 1.0 rares, and something I already have. Yep, sealed on cards grass, the ones I'm wearing now. Yay! I'm so happy! Nice! And they're not even strong. Oh, they are stronger. Huh. That's, okay, um, I can't be really mad, but at the same time, yes, I can. <laughs> Should I just, like, wear these and infuse them? No, because I need an exotic shard. And, well, guess what? Give me this exotic shard. 
I'm sorry, the only reason, I think it'll give me two for that because it's fully upgraded, won't it? <laughs> yep, two exotic shards, three months later. <laughs> I don't like breaking exotics, but actually that gives me what I need. Oh no, I still need weapon parts. Because I have a gun that'll bring my Mida up. It's right there, that's why I have a blue in my primary slot. I'll go ahead and do this in front of you guys just to see if my light goes up to 3, 16 or 17, whatever the heck. So I need to buy some, I mean, I'm, I've got a decent amount of money. I can buy three, well, five technically, but all I needed was three weapon parts to infuse this. Boom! And we are at 317, and it's at 316 light. Oh yeah, whatever this is, it's garbage, that's what it is. I could already do the yeah, already broke them. And I got this piece of crap. Um, so yeah, I can show you guys my- I'll just go ahead and do a quick review of all the exotics I have. Mida, Bad Juju, it's year one, year two. Year two, Patience in Time. Year two, Sealed on Power of Grasps. I had another year two, Sealed on Power of Grasps, that you saw me grab just then. Um, and in my vault, in my vault, I have Red Death, year one, year one, Queen Breaker's Bow, year two, Telesto, year two, Young Home Cross Spine, year two, Bones Veil, what I was talking about earlier for the quadruple jump, nothing in there. And if you guys don't mind this video being a little bit extra, I'm gonna go over to my Warlock and show you guys the exotics I have on it. I was going to show you for you guys my last of my exotics, which are on my warlock. I had the, uh, a tune, like, no. Nah. I had robes for the warlock. I don't know what happened to them. I think I dismantled them on accident or something. I did something. I think I deleted my warlock back at that point. But I have one really cool exotic that I got from doing that strategy, the strategy I showed you in this video. Um, it's a helmet that, it's actually the best helmet in the game that I, that I, like, my favorite helmet in the game. Now over here I have another Mighty Year 2, I have another Year 2 Person of Time, and I have the Dope Helmet in the Ram, Year 2. Um, and that's all my exotics that I own. I used to have Truth, the rocket launcher, but it was so garbage that I broke it down for a freaking, it was Year 1 anyway. But hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos today. If you want some more Destiny, leave a comment below. And goodbye, my friends.